Cassie and I am back with part nine of the pomegranates. So in this part, I thought we could go to the club hangout with Jane and Jessica and also at the house, Scarlett could invite Max over once again and try again with the friendship because it's been going on for quite a few episodes now and Scarlett still hasn't got a good friend or anything. But Toby's still at the house. In fact, I picked it up right off from where we left it in the last part. So Toby's at the house, Jane is still asleep. So let's see what she needs to do. Okay, she needs a little bit more sleep and Pilar is awake, but she could do with sleeping as well. And especially now because the meter has started to go yellow. It's a little bit awkward between these two now because I don't know what Pilar would want to do in this situation. Would she want to go over and hug him or be romantic with him? I don't know. Maybe he's trying to make an effort with everybody around the house. I don't know. I'd really like it though if they did become boyfriend and girlfriend. Would Pilar have to ask him? Because he is a serial romantic. I think he is. I don't know if he wants to be though. I don't know if that's his life aspiration. I think that he's just, oh, he's just a non-committal. So that is a natural thing to, for him to have anyway. So he wouldn't want to ask Pilar and she might just have to ask him. But I don't think that she'd ask him at 12.50 a.m. <laughs> I don't think she'd want to. She's gonna go to sleep and Jessica Mortray is going to come back to the house. So I'm gonna bring Jessica Mortray here. Now I had a really, really good suggestion in the comments that instead of having a separate room for Jessica and building it onto the back of here, that I would just build two beds. So apologies, Scarlett. <laughs> you shouldn't be sleeping in there anyway. You should have your own bed. Are you sleeping in your own bed? Okay, Max is on your bed. That's the problem we have. So these beds are going to be for Jessica, Mortray and Jane. And this would make a lot of sense. It would make a lot of sense for them to have two separate beds here. Would they be able to get past this chair though? I don't think they would. Okay, so I've decided for now that I'm gonna leave it the way that I had it originally. And if it needs changing at any point, then I will. And I might do a room build or something. And I'll put that as a separate speed build and I might end up extending it, I'm not sure. But those two beds are absolutely fine for now. It means they can sleep in the same room together and it's not too awkward. So Jane, or no, sorry, Jessica, I'm gonna get confused with those names because they both begin with J. She'll claim that bed and Jane will claim this bed. And I'd like it if Jane actually went to her own bed, which was in here and maybe Scarlett would sleep. But Max is already round and she's not tired. She might go in here and try and join in this conversation. I don't know why Dylan is making such an effort with Max because he should really be making an effort with Scarlett, especially as I think a part of him would want to get on with Pilar's family. I think that he was trying to talk to Max because he was sad. That's so cute and caring. So he does have a caring side to him, which is nice. So Jessica's gonna go to bed because they have got school in the morning. Yeah, she's got class in seven hours. I'm gonna fast forward time a lot because I don't want her hanging around too much because then she'll be tired for school and then she won't be able to go out with the group. And then I'm gonna get Jane to maybe text Tasman or something and then they can try and go out together. So time's going very, very quickly and <laughs> there's a lot going on. I want to make sure that Scarlett is now in bed though. So I'm going to do that. So she's going to go back to her room and she is going to go to sleep. And that's the same with Pilar, even though she might not want, oh, she doesn't want to sleep though. Maybe she would, oh, he's gonna get going, really? Okay, he can get going then and she will go back to sleep. And Toby's going home as well. I think that's a good idea because Toby is going to school as well in the morning. But he's, he skives quite a lot, doesn't he? I haven't seen Toby go to school in a very long time. So I like how Max is the latest one to leave. He is so rebellious. I don't know what his parents will think of that. I don't know. Anyway, so it's morning and they've both got school. Oh, so she's, okay, Pilar doesn't have to go to work for three days as per usual because Pilar never works. Jessica has got school in two hours, so has Jane and so has Scarlett. And I think that they've done their homeworks. 
And I do want Scarlet to maybe make better friends with Max and then she can overthrow Elsa and have this group for her very own. So now I'm gonna get Pilar up and she is going to cook some breakfast for everybody because she's very good at cooking. She's gonna clean that up and she will serve breakfast. Spinach, who has spinach for breakfast? That's really unusual. Omelets, yes, omelets are healthy. And Jessica Mortray is very hungry. And I think that Pilar would want Jessica to eat because she probably feels as if Jessica hasn't had a good meal in a very long time, which I don't think she, that she has. She's probably just snacked a lot and that's really all that she's done because she hasn't had any available ways that she can get money. So I think that for her, a snack, a pack of crisps, some chocolate, will be all she's probably eaten for a very long time. Same with Blondie, same with the others. And I don't think that Pilar would take them all in. Jane's been scammed, oh my goodness. Charity cheat from giving to an online scam. Why would she do that? Why would you do that? You wouldn't. Oh no, that's awful. <laughs> I don't even know how that came about. I didn't even realize that she was on the computer. Oh well. So she's feeling really refreshed and she's almost ready for school. And class is in 22 minutes. She's not done homework though. I thought that she already did do a homework, but turns out you need to do homework more than once. Why is she wearing that? Mama, Jessica, that's yeah, so bad. You shouldn't be wearing that. <laughs> not while you're sat eating breakfast. Terrible. So now I think they'll both go to school. So it's time for school. Those two can go out and Scarlett is also going to school. She hasn't done her homework either. I was honestly under the impression that they had all done their homework and everything was fine. A lot of people didn't even touch those omelets, which is very sad. And it means that Pilar just cooked them for no reason. Bless her. So I think that while they're all out, because now that they are all at school, you should be at school. You are not gonna go and cry in the cupboard. You need to go to school now. Okay, so she's going to school and so is Jessica Mortray. It's very important that they both do that. So they are both on their way out. And then I think when they come back, that's when we will go somewhere and we will try to go somewhere as soon as possible once their needs are up and we can do all that fun stuff, which isn't actually that fun. <laughs> the needs are really irritating sometimes, but they have to be done. I mean, they have to have food and things, they have to eat, so. That's just a factor of life. So Pilar has work in three days and she doesn't really need to do anything else. I would assume that Dylan was at work, but maybe if he isn't, then she could just invite him to hang out at her current lot. Oh, he will be right over. Well, that's perfect then because while the kids are at school, then Dylan can come over and maybe she can ask him. They could go on a date somewhere, where could they go? She could travel with Dylan and they could go somewhere really, really special. I don't know where they're gonna go, but we shall see about the available options that we have for special places. Okay, so this is my Windenburg town. Uh, let's see where they can go. Maybe they can go to the Bath de Rille. We haven't been there before. In fact, I've never been there before. I think that that should be interesting. I mean, it's a very casual date. And if Pilar is going to ask Dylan to be her boyfriend, then it's very casual. And maybe that's a good thing because maybe Dylan wouldn't want Pilar to take him somewhere really fancy and then ask him at the fanciest restaurant because if he is a committophobe, he would just want to be very, very casual about everything and he wouldn't really want her to think too much about everything. Why is she wearing her shopping outfit? She looks like a store clerk. Is that what you call it? A, a shopping person? That's what I used to wear when I used to work in retail. I used to wear a red one of those. So change outfits. Swimwear. Swimwear four, let's go for it. It's random, okay. Swimwear four. Uh, let's see what else she's got actually. She must have loads of different outfits. So change outfits, swimwear. Swimwear one. Change outfits, swimwear two. She's gonna have to hurry because there's lots of women arriving that are looking very nice in their swimming outfits. She doesn't want to distract Dylan too much. Okay, so the yellow really, really suits Pilar. I think that's probably the best outfit that she can have. He's already in the water, so he is feeling as if he needs a swim. 
and maybe she would do a romantic interaction with him. She could confess her attraction or ask if single. She already knows that he's single. Oh my gosh, why does she hate Max so much? She hates him. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what Max has done to offend Pilar, but whatever it is, she doesn't like him. Maybe it's because he's trying to become friends with Scarlett. And maybe Pilar's the one getting in between everything. Maybe Pilar doesn't want Max to become friends with her daughter because Scarlett is a really, really good girl and Max is quite rebellious and quite bad. So maybe she doesn't want Scarlett to become friends with the wrong people. Anyway, so she's here now and they are both in the pool, sort of. We have some third wheelers, but let's just ignore those. So maybe she would do romance ask to be boyfriend oh you have to walk apparently for that you, you can't ask somebody sitting down that's absolutely unheard of and she's going to ask him <gasps> no oh my gosh this is really awkward why why would he why would he just do that they're just friends apparently so i think the best thing for her to do is because she'd obviously really want that uh, could she apologize? <laughs> Friendly. Ask to move in. Okay, so maybe she'd say to him, well, maybe you don't want to be my boyfriend, but maybe you would want to move in together. Because the girls have now met him and he hasn't made that much of an effort with them, but things are going so slowly and I think Pilar would want to hurry things a bit. She really likes Dylan and she would feel as if she would want the girls to meet him and they would all sit around together, maybe at the table, but she wouldn't want to hold things off in the meantime. So they're gonna move in together apparently and I have to go to the manage worlds option and probably do that. So I will be right back. So Dylan has just moved in with us and it's going to be a bit of a shock, but maybe Pilar actually thinks that if they move in together, and if everything's going swimmingly with Jessica moving in, then maybe the girls won't mind Dylan moving in, even though they don't know him that well. But I really do hope that he will make an effort with them. It means that we get more control over Dylan now, which is going to be a lot easier. And it means that they can all actually sit at the table together and we can sort it out. He can meet the girls and he can see what he thinks of them. Now, he doesn't like Max, he doesn't like Toby. Maybe he doesn't like Max just because Pilar doesn't like Max. I don't know. Hates Toby. And there's not a lot of relationships going on here. Oh, he's really good friends with Caden. Well, that figures because they look exactly the same. They are exactly the same person almost. Okay, so what I'm gonna do though is whilst the girls are out. So she's in the bathroom bracing herself and she's probably thinking, what should she tell them when, when they get back? I mean, will they be okay with it? I think that they will, and they won't be rude to him or anything. Maybe Jane would be a little bit rude, actually, but Jessica won't mind. In fact, Jessica would love some more men in the house. Jessica is always feeling flirty, and I hope that that's not going to be any problems there. Now, Jessica has a lot of romantic interactions with different people, but Joel at the moment is somebody that she really does like, and she likes him because they're friends, and they're friends more than anything else at the moment and that's the same with Toby as well but there's no romance there and I think that that's what's very special about Joel with Jessica because Jessica does see him as a friend more than anything and she respects him but it's nearly time for the girls to come home and Dylan is probably just moving into his room upstairs <laughs> I hope this isn't going to be his room so oh he wants to upgrade it that's probably what he wants to do oh he needs some parts for that instant upgrade then and he is really, really intelligent, apparently. He's an eSport gamer level nine and he's an arm king. I don't know what that is. I wouldn't say that he would look like a gamer. I don't know. I don't know though, because a lot of people don't look like gamers. I don't think that I look like a gamer and a lot of people don't think I look like a gamer either, but I don't know. So he needs to play some video games which he hasn't started yet. And that is amazing because him moving in is going to bring a ridiculous amount of income to this house. Has he bought loads of money as well? I think he's bought, I think he's bought quite a fair share of his own money into our bank account. I think he has. 
I'm not going to say anything about it because I think that that's absolutely fine. I'm not going to edit it because I think that they're doing absolutely fine for many and it just means that when the bills arrive, it's just going to be so much easier to pay that sort of stuff. Do they need to pay any bills yet? No, they don't need any bills yet. Dylan is a non-committal. These sims grow tense from stability. Be it in their relationship or career, infuse change often. Okay. So he is really, really set on the fact that he doesn't want to become a title yet with Pilar. So he is really trying to avoid that. And it's a shame because I think that he would like that, but it's just his personality is just telling him not to. And that's a shame. And he doesn't really know that much about Pilar. He's a lot younger than her as well. How old is he? Let's see. Oh, he's nearly, he's nearly an adult. It's his birthday in two days. Well, that's fantastic because for the people that wanted me to age him up, he's gonna age up naturally, which is lovely. So he is just playing chess by himself. Maybe she would join the game and I'm gonna fast forward time a little bit because I really want the girls to get back from school. And she's building up her skills, which is lovely because it means that she can do something as a hobby and she can speak to him and I don't know. I don't know how close they would have to be for him to finally accept Pilar's invitation to be her boyfriend. Pilar is a very self-assured person, even though I don't think that that's in her traits. I think that she just is naturally. So I don't think that that would put her off at all. In fact, she would just want a straight up answer. And she's faffed about for so many years trying to find somebody that she really likes. And now she's found somebody that she really likes. He doesn't like her, or at least he likes her but he just doesn't want that title yet. So moving in together is the next best thing for Pilar and it's the only option that she can really do and she's putting her needs before her children's needs, I think a little bit, yes. But she's just been unhappy for so long that there's no other way that she can really do it. So now we are going to uh, still play some chess. Does she need to do anything for work? Should Jane invite over classmate Tommy? Yes, of course, invite him over. <laughs> Sorry, that shocked me a little bit. If I if I seemed a little bit too shouty then, that was because I was. I was very, I was shocked. I was absolutely shocked that Tommy's on his way over. Why is he knocking at the door when Jane's there? That's crazy. So, okay, we were going to go out anyway. So maybe we will just go out with Tommy there. Oh, Scarlett's looking so sad. Why are you sad? Then my day from school, I think. I think that is. I read so quickly. <laughs> so she needs to go and do her stuff upstairs. Oh, that's so, so sad. But it's nice that Dylan is trying to make an effort or at least he's at least dancing in the same environment as her. A little bit insensitive, but there we go. There's a lot going on here. So now I think that Jane would probably wanna go up and see Tommy. I really want these girls to go out. Okay, so Jessica needs some fun in her life anyway. In fact, Scarlett would probably just come out with the girls, especially as Pilar has made it very clear and so is Dylan that they don't like Max. So maybe that Jane would sort of take pity on her for not having many friends. Maybe that's why Scarlett's upset. So she would just invite her out. So we're gonna take out a lot of people. We're gonna take Courtney and we also wanna take Tasman and we don't know Amy yet, unfortunately. We're gonna take Scarlett, Jessica Mortray, Tommy. And let's see, Toby we'll take. We'll take Joel as well. Braxton, oh no, we can't take Braxton apparently. And I think that what we'll do then is we will invite Max once we get there. And then we will also invite, let's see who's left. Is anyone left? No, nobody's left. Okay. So now we're gonna go out and we will rush this part. So I'm gonna fast forward time. So now they are at the Bluffs. The Bluffs is a beautiful resort and I haven't really spent much time there yet. So I think that that would be really lovely for a party venue and I don't know who would have arranged it. Maybe Jane's just arranged it. Maybe it's just one of those things that just happens and everyone's there. Jessica Mortray is probably feeling very, very tense and I don't know how she would feel in Tasman's presence as well because I don't think that she would particularly get on with Tasman and Courtney. She might feel as well that because she is a jealous person, she doesn't want Jane to be too good friends with them. So even though she has came here, she's really just come for the pure intentions that she wants to obviously be with Jane and she wants to probably be with Joel and the other people in this group. I don't know if she would start inviting her gothic nightmares. I don't think that she would. We haven't had a group gathering of the gothic nightmares actually come to think of it. But they're all in the water now. 
Scarlett's feeling very sad, so maybe she would invite her friend Max and he would come too. And maybe they would just play over in the corner somewhere. They could go over here together and there's not really much for kids. They could dig together. No, she can't really do much, unfortunately. So Max has just arrived and I think that Scarlett would try to talk to him maybe a little bit away from everybody. And I think that she'd feel a little bit out of place over here in the pool where everybody is. So she would try to speak to him over there and maybe he could cheer her up a bit. It's a lot better than being in the house as she would normally be. So it's just better that she's here. And I think that this really does sum up what's happening at the moment. So Jane is of course talking to Tasman and Courtney and Jessica is by herself over here. So she probably is feeling a little bit irritated that Jane is talking to Tasman. But I would actually like Jane to become friends with Tasman. So I really hope that that happens. So she'll probably give her some heartfelt compliments. Maybe they gossip together. But the two of them are just talking and Jessica and Courtney have gone off somewhere together. So don't know how that's going to turn out. And Toby, Joel and Tommy are all over here. So Max has had the confidence to jump in the pool and start talking to everybody, which is nice because that might bring Scarlett in, which it has. Well, that's lovely then because at least she can socialise over here and it's not strictly for teens. But I don't think that Scarlett is getting on very well with her sister, which is very unfortunate, but you can hope. And I want Scarlett to maybe discuss her interest with Max, not splash him. I don't think that she would. She could tell some jokes, she could quote some cartoon characters and make fun of adults, probably. And then I think for Jane, I'm gonna get Jane out and she is going to try to talk to Tasman as much as possible. I think that she would really like to be in the fakes. Oh, and now she's a friend. Well, that's fantastic. Because now that means that Tasman and Jane are friends, Tasman can actually invite Jane to be in the fakes. And that could cause some drama between Jessica because Jessica doesn't like the fakes. So we'll see. In fact, maybe Jessica would see what's going on here and see how well everybody's getting on and she would try to stir things up a little bit. So maybe she would be jealous of the fact that everything's going so well and she would yell at her and she would feel really angry that Jane is getting on so well with everybody. In the meantime, while that's going on, Jane would then give a heartfelt compliment to Tommy. In fact, maybe she wouldn't be the only one. Maybe Jessica would give a heartfelt compliment to Tommy as well to wind Jane up because that would really wind Jane up. But Joel's here, so I don't know if she would actually because she really does want to spend some time with Joel. It's very obvious that she does. But it looks like they're all sorting things out apart from Jessica and Tasman who have just had a little bit of an argument and they don't really like each other. I think that this is where Jane would probably go over and apologize to Tasman. I don't know if she'd even need to apologize to her to be honest. Or she at least wants to talk to her because she's feeling a little bit upset of course by herself over there and she did just have a huge argument with Jessica and Jessica Mortray was completely out of order. So I think that Jane would, I think that she'd really want to speak to Tasman and see if she was okay because she's obviously seen what was going on. In the meantime, maybe Jessica would try and speak to some of the people around her and she could maybe ask some of these people to hang out with her. One of them just happening to be Tommy and she is going to uh, probably ask him to hang out with her. A lot of people are going home, which is so, so sad. And now they are hanging out together. So they're around here and she would probably gossip about Tasman. I don't know how Tom would take that, of course. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this part here and I will see you all in the next part. Thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you all soon.